another of the soft sole treatments is dynamic replacement. Steve, what's all this about? Well, basically it's very simple technology. We get a very large weight and we drop it on the ground, pushing high strength granular material down through the soft soil to create a column. This sounds like very old technology to me, just bashing the hell out of the soil. Well, well that's basically what it is. We use a weights of 10 to 20 tonnes and we lift them using a crane up to 10 to 20 metres. We're dropping on a layer of granular material and we just push that into the ground till we get to the depth required and we've got a column. Now dynamic replacement, Rich, I mean it's just a fancy way of bashing the hell out of the ground, isn't it? Sounds simple but there's still a few things you've got to take care of. Uh, firstly, you don't want the rock to go flying everywhere when you, when you drop these weights and, and start damaging nearby uh, houses or cars or whatever. Sure. And secondly, you can only get these columns say six metres underground and, and so you have to then prove that you've got the column all the way through the soft clay. That means you've got to drill holes through it and that takes a fair bit of effort to, to drill through all this hard rock. You uh, create your hole, Yep. Um, then you put some stone in there and use the long thin one to push it down into the ground and then finish it off as you say with a big fat one get a nice uh, smooth surface. It'd have to be one of your favourite techniques though, wouldn't it, Rich? Bashing it. It's great fun. <laughs> now, it's not all just hit and miss dynamic replacement. There is a little bit of science in it and spacing's important. Yes, we've got to get the spacing right depending on how much load we want to carry. These columns can end up two and a half to three metres wide, so the spacing's usually six to seven metres. Yeah, right. Now, is there anything else we need to know about dynamic replacement? Well, those columns help stiffen the ground up and increase the load carrying capacity, but they still rely on the soft soil between them to work as well. And they act as a giant wick to take water out of the ground. And because of that, we often have to surcharge them to help drive that process. Surcharging. Now, there's more to that word, I'm sure. Surcharging. Well, surcharge is basically when we don't just build the embankment up to the height we need the road, but we put another two or three metres of load on to help drive the processes, and then we take that away and put the road pavement on. I'm getting it. I'm getting it slowly, Steve. 